Well, our Walt Grayson is back with us now at 6, as he is every Monday to kick off our week with a look at us as he focuses on Mississippi. And, Walt, now you've got that friend of yours in Natchez. You always say this man never ceases to amaze you. What's this guy doing now? Well, because I say that because he never ceases to amaze me. What he, <laughs> he has a bunch of talents and abilities that I wished I had for starters. And then when I talked to him this week, he told me I could have had him all along, too. And so could you if you want it bad enough. Let's see. Quick background. First time I met Burnley Cook, he was restoring this old organ from the long gone Baker Grand Theater in Natchez. He spent five years putting it back together, and now he's gotten it playing better than new. Not to mention, he's also a musical living jukebox. You ask him if he can play anything, and he can. Then I clicked on his Facebook page the other day and found this Burnley painting. Is there no end to this man's talent? So I finally found an afternoon and went to Natchez and dropped by Burnley's house to ask him, what's up with the art? I've always painted. Even when I was just a little child, I was always playing around with colors and, and paints. And Well, didn't we all? But I never got past the place where people mostly asked what my painting was supposed to be. So I assumed that to paint a recognizable painting, one must have to possess some great degree of talent from birth. But Burnley says maybe I stopped too short of the goal line. Maybe I quit too early. No, I think anybody. Anybody can draw, anybody can paint. You know, it's it's not something that, that certain people are, are born with, you know, with, an, with a Rembrandt gene. You know, it's just like so many other things, like playing the piano or, or uh, doing artwork or baking, cooking, anything. It's the desire. How badly do you want to do it? And if you can't live without it, you're going to be good at it. Burnley says a lot of his artistic ability comes from reading and watching videos and then applying what he's learned. Want it and then work for it. I've often told piano students, art students, if I could just slice the top of your head off and pour what I know into your head, well, we all discovered that you can't wake up one day expecting to have all of these abilities that you want in your life just dripping from your fingertips. But we can wake up and practice or take a class. Want it and work for it. Like my multi-talented friend, Burnley Cook in Natchez. And by the way, Burnley was recently named one of the 100 people in Natchez that you need to meet. Oh, I agree. Well, he's got a lot of talent. Yes. And that gives me 99 more stories. <laughs>